we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. His adversary, by way of Newark, he weighs. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Good flush one-two jab and a straight hand by Evil Ways. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Kid Dynamite. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Kid Dynamite. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Evil Ways. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Left to the body. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Evil Ways. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's right. Body shots. Body shots. Parries that punch intended for the head. Very accurate two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Keep it up. Keep it up. Last 10 seconds of this first round. A well-placed left hand up top. And we come to the end of round number one. Kid Dynamite's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to cover up that gut. Evil Ways is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Evil Ways, his nose is cut, and you can see that it's worsening as this round goes on. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Kid Dynamite. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Looked like the Will of the Wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Oh, good exchange there. Evil Ways is stunned by a big shot. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to... How about that left right there? Oh! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but... He still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Ten seconds remaining in this round. <laughs> and 
And the round comes to an end. Evil Ways is tough man that's going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad catch. And I wondered what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good flush, straight left hand. Evil Ways is trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as an opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the... He is damaged bad, and yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Get up, get up, get up, come on, get up. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul. Accurate with a straight left. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counterpunch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. That's a stinging right hand by Kid Dynamite. Right to the body. You gotta see that coming, Jim. And yet another right hand lands. Focus. Evil Ways is still shaking after feeling that uppercut. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Kid Dynamite's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. And round three comes to an end. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards. And Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of the rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Evil Ways. Evil Ways is lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. Kid Dynamite's able to land a good, solid left hand. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Evil Ways. Yeah, baby, good What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Kid Dynamite's punch didn't come close. That's trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Up top with the right hand. Let's see some defense. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Kid Dynamite's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Good step back counter punch there. Kid Dynamite's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Blocks that punch. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Kid Dynamite's feeling the effects now of that hook. 
Well off the mark by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's putting forth an uppercut on the inside. I mean, that is the perfect punch at the perfect place, right on the inside there. No, it is, Joe. To be a complete fighter, you have to know which punch to pick at the right time. That is the right punch to split the guard. That is where the opening is with that uppercut. Not able to land the headshot. Little head hunting with the left. Dynamite's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Halfway through this round here. Solid uppercut. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Good job. It was sudden. It was... And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Back to the body. Back to the body. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And round five comes to an end. 60 seconds. That's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they got to show that they can perform under those conditions. Dynamite's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Well, I think a lot of people probably didn't expect this out of him, but I like the way he looks on the outside. He's an inside man, but guess what? He's there got an go. outside touch. There you go. That is a strong uppercut there. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Scores with the uppercut. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. He missed with that headshot. Targeting a left hand down low. Evil Ways is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Evil Ways is left working well that time. Not an accurate hook at all. Snaps that jab out. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. left by Evil Ways. And that does it for this round. Come on, Evil Ways' his defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking, and that's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down, to have a great resolve, and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. How about that left hand? He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. 
see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Kid Dynamite's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Great work offensively landing that combination by Evil Ways. Big shot there. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Stay on the inside. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Hit Dynamite's doing really well on the outside. Solid left hand to the head. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. He took a shot. Look at that. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? On, Get up your feet. Two, three, four, Come on, five, five uh, 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 six, uh, uh, uh. seven, eight. Get up, nine, Come on now. Ten. Get up, man. It's over. This fight is over. Kid Dynamite's in prime for power surge here. Knockout winner. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.